Well, let's go back to Yasmin Basugian for an update on where things stand, because uh, this happened very quickly, Yasmin, where the witness left, the defense yes. rest its case, and the, the judge has now dismissed the jury for the day? 45 minutes in court, and we're done um, for the day up until 2.15. Let's talk scheduling, guys, for a moment. By the way, the big headline, Donald Trump is not testifying, right? We've been wondering, will he, won't he? He will not. The defense has rested its case. Donald Trump is not taking the stand, despite the fact that he has said repeatedly he has wanted to take the stand. Let's talk scheduling for a moment, right? The jury has um, <coughs> now been uh, let go. 2.15. Court is back in session to go over charging instructions. Remember, part of the reason why the defense was looking to call, for instance, Bradley Smith, former FEC commissioner, was to talk through, um, and I'm painting this with a broad brush, election law, right? So part of the charging instructions from the defense's side will be how, in fact, the judge will inform the jury on election law. So they're both going to kind of go to their corners for the next four hours or so, talk through the options as to what they want to include in charging instructions, submit them to the judge, and then ultimately the decision is up to the judge when it comes to those charging instructions and subsequently the jury instructions that will be given to the jury after summations are over. Judge Juan Mershon has already said those jury instructions will likely last at least an hour, if not more. So 2.15, they come back to court for those charging instructions to go through that. Seems like court is not in session on Thursday of this week. They do not come back until next Tuesday. The reason being is Judge Juan Mershon had informed the jury, I don't want summations to happen and then have distance between summations, for instance, and deliberation and or, for instance, the prosecution to be giving their summation and then have distance between prosecution summation and defense's summation. So they come back for closing arguments uh, next Tuesday. Then there are jury instructions given by Judge Juan Mershon, which will likely last up to or more than an hour. By the way, closing arguments, the judge has already said, could last all day. Um, so they're asking the jury to be prepared to work late on Tuesday afternoon and then possibly to work Wednesday. If we're looking at then, they'll go into deliberations Wednesday and Thursday. So that at this moment is the schedule we are looking at as the defense has, in fact, rested its case. And Donald Trump, the former president, of the United States will not, in fact, be testifying, guys.